morning, we are so excited to catch up with actor Jay Hernandez. He's taken on a variety of roles, playing a single dad in the star-studded comedy Bad Moms. He also brought Diablo to life in 2016, that box office hit Suicide Squad. Uh, by the way, really committed to that role because he shaved off his eyebrows. Well, luckily, he didn't have to do too much makeup. Back. <laughs> well, these days, Jay stars in the Magnum P.I. revival, which is saying aloha to its new home on NBC. Jay playing Thomas Magnum, a former Navy SEAL turned investigator who takes on cases with Juliet Higgins. Not always such smooth sailing on the way. Okay, let's talk about what you two are doing here. Well, Macy's wife hired us to investigate his death. Why would she hire a couple of private eyes? Investigators. Macy died in a car accident. There was nothing suspicious about it, and yet here you are searching his office. Why? Well, it was at least a little suspicious. He was an impeccable driver. He had no moving violations. Was he upset? Did he get into some kind of altercation? Your wife just wants answers. All right, Ooh. Jay, welcome. Another case. Hey. Another day. Another case. <laughs> <of paradise. laughs> Love it. So, Love it. So Magnum's taking on the clients as usual, but we also get a chance to see Miggins, which is this yeah, that's uh, affectionate right. nickname that the fans have come up smashing your two characters together. Yeah. We, so do the sparks continue? We've been teasing that relationship for a while. Yeah. And, and we had to we, we had to sort of like pay that off and yeah. get to the audience. And uh, yeah, it was it was it was about time. So now it's like this season. That's one thing that differentiates it from the previous yeah. four. Okay. And we love that you're paying it off now um, that the show is on NBC. It was yes, on a different that's network. Right, that's but right. What I think is so cool is fans uh, rallied so around the show so much. They banded together, put up a billboard in Times Square, mm -hmm. and NBC picked it up. And here we go. Yeah, it's uh, when I See, heard about yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> when, when I yeah, when I heard about it, I was like, "Is this real?" Is, you know, that's because wild. you see so much stuff on social media and you don't want to believe it. But what's what's pretty great actually is uh, NBC is putting up another billboard to thank the fans. No so way. I, no I think way. it's I think it's actually up today. I think today might be the first. Oh, that's yeah, great. Really, wow. Really cool. How much does that mean to you? I mean, the fans are everything when, it's when there's a show. It's super humbling uh, for, for a show in its fifth season to find another network after being canceled. Oh, yeah. It's like just tremendously rare. And uh, yeah, the, it, it just shows that the fans really love the show and wanted to come back. Yeah. That's awesome. Way to go, fans. You saved a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's funny because when I remember I grew up watching the original with with Tom Selleck, and I always thought, wow, it just looks so cool. Mm. Come to find out, it looks so cool because it's filmed in Hawaii. In Hawaii, yeah, <laughs> because it actually is cool. Yeah. <laughs> you picked up surfing as yeah, well. Yeah, I picked up surfing. I do it pretty much like three, three, four times a week, anytime I can, because wow. my schedule is pretty intense. But when I got time off and there's waves, I'm on the South Shore. Uh, I am always in the water, and I, you know, I was, I didn't know anything about surfing uh, two years ago. Really? Nothing. Nothing. Let me tell you guys behind the scenes. This guy walks in, he sits down. I go, oh, nice to meet you, and then I go. Like, what's going on? Like, he's, like, glowing and, like, zen. And he, I was like, and then Craig asked him, where are you from or where yeah. you live or so where's home? Where's and he it? said Hawaii, and we're like, oh. oh yeah. That's why. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, just, yeah, I'm just chill, baby. <laughs> yeah, I love it, I love it. So I was just reading, you're also going to be in a new film, The Long Game, which also has Dennis Quaid. And you were in a movie with him before? Are you yeah, we. Uh, it's like this full circle moment. Uh, I did a movie called The Rookie with uh, Dennis Quaid, mm -hmm. a baseball. It's a great movie. Yeah, a really, really great movie. <laughs> and he was my coach in that film. And in this film, I'm I'm sort of the coach of the uh, the team, and he's my assistant coach. So, oh, yeah, it's pretty cool. great. And it was yeah. great to work with him again. So, is it true that your acting career got started? You were in an elevator mm -hmm. with your yeah. folks, and somebody saw you and thought, oh, you should be an actor. <laughs> what? And, uh, yeah. so, and your folks said, oh, yeah, that's a great idea, stranger. Well, no, we've never met. No, yeah. my dad, my dad was like, who is this creep? Trying to, you know, like, <laughs> hitting on you. my child. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And my mom was actually the one that convinced me. It was like two weeks later. She's like, you should call that How guy. You know? you? I was, uh, I think, 17 or 18. Wow. I'd never acted in my life. Never, mm -hmm. you know, high school play, nothing, no theater. And, uh, you know, 20-something years later. It's turned out pretty well for yeah, It's yeah. worked yeah. out. It's worked. That call, you know, yeah, right. it literally paid off. an elevator pitch. It literally was <laughs> from, like, the 10th floor to the first floor. That's Did amazing. you ever keep yeah. in touch with a guy? You, we, we were, uh, he was my manager for many years until he passed away. Oh, know? my goodness. Um, and it was crazy. Uh, he passed away. I was actually in New York mm -hmm. in Union Square at the W wow. Hotel. Got a knock on my door at, like, you know. 2 a.m. Yeah. that he had passed away. Oh, but it was like, oh he got my career going. Yeah. Uh, I got crazy beautiful and, you know, the mm -hmm. whole... The story goes from there. Well, Jay, we wanted to uh, properly welcome you to the NBC family. We want to yes. welcome you to the Peacock. And so we, we spent a lot of money on this. Oh, love it. <laughs> this is, thank you, Mike. 
Let's you go. see it. Oh, oh look at that. Howard oh, oh, today. I love it. The Aloha short, baby. Hey, look at that. That's awesome. We're going to have to get this on the show somehow. Oh, yes. yes. Hey, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Now sneak it on. Thank you, guys. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm talking yeah. about. I want one of those. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. It's yeah. really pretty. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Appreciate it. New season of Magnum P.I. premieres with two back-to-back -back episodes on Sunday. Going retro. Remember, that's the way premieres used to be. Right. Yeah. A nice two-hour thing. I love it. Starting at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific, right here on NBC. Streaming next day on Peacock, part of our parent company, NBC Universal. I love it. Yay, we're we're with love. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.